about that last play and what you saw um, and how Trey Young was able to get that one shot? Yeah, we got one-on-one uh, -on -one coverage a little bit. We had some shell defense around him. You just give him credit for the shot that he made uh, with a contest from behind by Spencer. So uh, um, good shot. Give him credit. And when you look at this game, you talked about challenging the guys. You guys were down by 18. You were able to kind of chip away at that. What worked well that allowed you guys to get back into that game? And you said that this team needs to get to know each other more. Yeah. What did you learn about this group? Well, that, that was a little bit of my message uh, at the end of the game is uh, I think we solved some problems or uh, a little bit. We got a few answers tonight. We'll continue to get more answers as we go forward. Uh, I thought we were more physical and aggressive uh, in, in our defensive stance and uh, how we put our hands on people. We were just... Um, just more aggressive at the end of the day, and that allowed us to get some stops and get out in transition and, and uh, get some really good looks from the field. Uh, but it all started with our defensive stance. And those three-pointers, you know, when they, they weren't falling in that fourth quarter, you had, you know, Dorian Finney-Smith knock one down, Cam Johnson, and you had that big one by Cam Johnson for seeing to tie it up. What changed that, so that, that allowed you guys to see those three start to fall? Yeah, we just really encouraged the guys and, and – um, you know, told them that the shots that we had earlier uh, that we were missing, really good looks. And so they were going to come around again, just continue to do what you've been doing. Um, uh, really trust that you're making the right play. And we got rewarded for it down the stretch. Uh, and, I, and I think that's a really big mental hurdle for this group, which was a positive, uh, uh, seeing our group be able to stay together, you know, get through that stretch of the game and still, you know, reward each other by spraying the ball and getting good shots. Yeah, it's great to see our end of game execution. We kind of held on to our timeouts a little bit. We trapped uh, and, and forced them into uh, uh, our early shot. We got an offensive rebound. We were able to do some offense and defensive substitution at the end, which was good. Uh, so that was something that was good to see our group have a little bit of poise at the end, uh, make some shots during that stretch, and uh, really be on the same page during that stretch. Just tough shooting start for Spencer. Obviously finished strong. I mean, I think most of his early shots were jump shots. Just given how weak he is at getting the basket, and would you like to see that even out a bit more? He's not much of a problem with the shots that you know? Yeah, I totally trust him as he starts to feel the group out, who he's on the floor with. Uh, I think tonight, you know, we really uh, streamlined the rotation a little bit, who he was out there with. So he'll get a balance of uh, when he can attack. Uh, I think you saw with the dunk tonight, his ability to get to the rim with some aggression and, and ferocity. So love seeing that. But at the same time, he has the skill and ability to, to make shots for us also. Talked about the guy's you know, mentality and getting rewarded, I guess, when they were defending better and so forth down the stretch. I'm curious, I mean, this lineup is, I think, one and four, basically, since we've had this iteration of the team. Where is their, where is their headspace now just in terms of morale and you know, their mindset in that locker room? Yeah, great challenge. Uh, it's a part of basketball and uh, where you can't feel sorry about yourself. We are playing this game for a living. So first of all, let's be uh, put things in perspective. And I think at the end of the day, I'm not going to give them excuses about this being a new group and this is only their fourth or fifth time playing together and the lack of practice and all that stuff. Pe people, you can hold on to that. I'm not going to mention that to the group, not going to give that to the group. What we have to do is continue to stay together and believe that we can get it done. And so that's the mental hurdle for this group. I thought tonight that we did not give in uh, in the second half, even though we were down by double digits. We still persevered towards the end of the game. So those signs were good to see, to see us solve some problems with uh, some of the plays that got us early in the game, that didn't get us late in the game, uh, the talk that was on the bench. So those things, uh, for me, Brian, that's what I'm looking for, because I think that mentality, that care factor will, eventually put us in a position where we're winning games. At the end of the day, that's what we want to do. Um, I do see some, some problems being solved along the way, which is going to help us. I know you, you had a stretch where in the beginning of the game, I think you gave, were given like 57% shooting when you guys were down 18. You touched on the physicality aspect of it, yeah. but was there anything tactically, either in the way you were playing or in rotations or what have you, that you did that allowed you to, I think, hold them like, I don't know, like 419 or 420 in that run to get back into the game? Yeah, you know, there's slips 
in, in to the rim really gave us some problems early. So we didn't count on DeJounte shooting two threes that he ended up making or John Collins hitting two threes that he ended up making. So those are just part of the game. Uh, but that happened a little bit with their ability to appeal and for us to, uh, if you don't have aggressiveness when guys are slipping, uh, you'll cause confusion. And so maybe Bogdanovich gets a three because of that. Uh, and so then I think we were able to see it on film a little bit, talk about it, and see how important it is for us to be physical as a group. Now, challenge tonight because we played, you know, limited guys a lot of minutes. And so now can you continue to play physical and aggressive and play and have stamina? Uh, so those are the mental things we will continue to put these guys through because I think you've got to go through it to get to the other side. Yes, it's great to, uh, to, you know, we talked about it in film, is uh, the ability for us to really play for each other and create for each other and uh, believe in how we're going to play. And we talked about it's, it's got to be collectively, uh, the ability on, on both ends. So even Dorian's drive at the end, he could have turned the corner and shot a two or a floater, and he gets it to Cam Johnson. So that ability to continue to do it over and over again, uh, to believe in the game plan and stay with it, I thought our guys really grew tonight from that. Considering uh, after the trade, I mean, your personnel before the trade was obviously heavy, tilted offense and star power and all that. Considering the lineup that you're putting out there and the way the roster is constituted, you have defensive players. Um, it's a little surprising when you look since the trade and the defensive numbers have been worse than the offensive numbers. Do you have any kind of thought as to why that would be? One would think it might be the other way around. Yeah, I think our guys are getting used to, you know, we talked about the offensive terminology. There's a defensive terminology also. And when you've been raised in a system like the two kids from Phoenix, they've been raised in that system, that's all they know. So the terminology is different. My communication is, is different with them. What we're trying to accomplish in, is different. And it just doesn't happen in five games like that. The other two are coming from a different uh, organization, too, where some of their switches were different than ours, the way we do them, uh, the um, ability to keep it in front, why we do them. So it's still explaining the why to our guys right now, and I think it's going to click. I believe it's going to click, uh, but there is a, a space where you talk about offensive terminology. There's some defensive terminology and some scheme-wise that we're still getting the grasp of. Is your switching... I mean, you guys are not a drop team. I mean, I know, I know you do a lot of red end and whatnot, but I mean, is your defense more, I don't want to say out of filter, but more different, I guess, than what the NBA norm is than your offense? Is that a fair statement? Oh, I think, um, you know, everyone is a little nuanced. Uh, and what you're trying to accomplish out of it. Uh, and I think those conversations will continue with, with the guys, uh, our new guys. Um, but it's every, every defense a little nuanced. I think we still are trying to get a, a hold of what we're trying to get accomplished. Uh, but it was good to see us adjust in the second half and really grab onto what we're trying to do as, as a defensive team.